rental property for uh, diplomats and expatriates who are now living in Guyana. I think there are a number of new housing developments that are being built strictly for uh, expatriates in the oil and gas industry. I think there are a few American developers, housing developers, are building entire developments in Georgetown, well not in Georgetown but in Guyana. I will probably bring you some footage of those new housing developments that are being built for um, expatriates. I know that the headquarters of ExxonMobil has been completed now so ExxonMobil has completed their headquarters at Ogle near to the Ogle airport. It's a huge a massive building and I will actually try to get close to it and give you an update on that but this is what is happening here this is what development looks like in Guyana in 2024 as you walk on the east side that's the eastern edge of Prashad Nagar this is the headquarters of the Guyana Hindu Dharmaric Saba. All right, this is the head office, the main temple in Guyana. And it's located in Prashad Nagar. On this side, you can see there is a lot of land that's being developed, clearing of the land that's going to be developed. Uh, let's turn back into Prashad Nagar here and walk down to the back to Delhi Street. So that was the eastern edge of Prashad Nagar, and now we're heading back. I think this is um, Campbell Avenue. Campbell Avenue that runs through both Prashad Nagar and. And Campbell, Campbellville. So what's happened in Prashad Nagar is a lot of the new homes that are being built, like this one, for example, are being either renovated from previous homes, such as this one, or being constructed anew by people who either have returned from living abroad as re-migrants or business people whose business have picked up since the um, economy has begun to grow. So I was looking at the um, Bank of Guyana report, that is the report of the Bank of Guyana, not the Sovereign Wealth Fund, not the Natural Resource Fund. That's available at the Bank of Guyana website, you can go take a look at that anytime if you're online. And what that report shows is that the Bank of Ghana total assets is now on the order of 3. 3.43 3 billion US dollars. And you can go back and check uh, on that for the last seven years. If you go back seven years ago, right, because all the reports are there yearly so you can go back to say 2017 and you can see that back in 2017 total assets from the Bank of Guyana was on the order of about 15 uh, 15 billion Ghana dollars and now it's about 715 billion Ghana dollars so from 15 billion to 715 billion. The assets have grown and that is strictly tied to the oil and gas industry, to the amount of money that Guyana has earned from oil and gas. Now, a lot of people try to make 
um, or to interpret my commentary on this video, these videos as political. Let me clarify three issues. One is that the facts are the facts. This is not a political channel. I'm not really using this to promote any political party. I'm Guyanese. Whether the PPP is in power or the, or the um, APNU and the coalition are in power, the Guyanese people are the same. We, are, we remain the same regardless of which government is in power. And the fact is that the PPP was in power for 26 years, I believe, from, 20, from 1992 to 2015, and then from 2020 until the present. And the coalition has been in power for five years, from 2015 to 2020. And in that time, those five years, they signed the oil contract. So when you step back from the politics, you will see that each government has its own, has made its own contribution. So it would be pointless and stupid to say, well, the PVP did this and the PNC or the APNU or the coalition government didn't do this. When in fact, Guyana is the same, whether which government is in power, the country remains the same, the people remain the same. So governments come and governments go, but the people, the country remains the same. And therefore, we're looking at what progress we can make and have made and how to keep that progress going on, in other words, continuing. And that's what we're talking about here on this channel. Really don't care about who does what. What we care about is the quality of the infrastructure that's being built. Ah, it's called Bicesar Street. Right, it's called the Cesar Street. So it seems as if the street names change here. So on the other side of Delhi, right, this is Delhi Street. We looked at this, it's Delhi Street. We've come down Delhi Street. In Prashad Nagar, this street is called Bicesar Street. But on the Campbellville side, it's called Campbell Avenue. All right, so it's Campbell Avenue, and Delhi Street. And right on this side, it's Campbell Avenue and Delhi Street. And on the other side, in Prashad Nagar, it's Bisesar Street. So that's it, guys. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the changes here in Prashad Nagar. I promise to give you an update on how these mega mansions are sprouting up, are growing, being built here in Prashad Nagar. I saw one or two of them that were still under construction six months ago and are still being constructed now, which rem uh, reminds me that a lot of these buildings that are constructed in Guyana are actually built not with mortgages but with savings. People tend to save an amount of money, build a little bit, and then go back to saving and building. And that is why a lot of these mega projects, mega mansions are usually built over many years. But that's it, guys. This is the four lane highway that is being built through this uh, reserve, right? This reserve is actually gonna go all the way to Dennis Street and a few few blocks from here, two blocks from here, and then eventually probably connect to that is way down south to Mandela Avenue. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and my family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Prashad Nagar in Georgetown, Guyana, the fastest growing economy in the world. Later!